All right, thanks, Carly. And Carly just touched on this. You know, the wildfires are affecting so many aspects of life that they've even put a hold on the interstate bridge work that was set to start tomorrow. Uh, joining us live to talk about moving forward is ODOT's Don Hamilton. Don, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good to be with you. Yeah, so we've been talking about this uh, project for weeks now as far as, you know, warning people what to expect. Now it's been put on hold. Uh, how long do you guys think that will last? Well, we're not sure about that yet. That's going to be under discussion, under a lot of discussion coming up in the days ahead. We want to get a good look at this. We don't want to wait too far into the fall. The weather may turn bad on us. We've got a lot of things to consider in this. There's a lot of moving parts to this, and I'm, I guess I don't mean just the bridge. Right, right. And so, I mean, how far back could the, this set, this project that's been, you know, long in the works? It's been years in the works. Uh, there's so many different things that have to be done. We've got to bring in um, heavy equipment. We've got to bring in uh, the big cranes. We've got to make sure we connect with the shipping companies out there. There's a lot of things that have to be done. Federal permits are required. So we've got a lot of things that still need to be worked out, but we're working on that now. We hope to do this sooner rather than later, but we don't have a date yet. Okay. Well, you know, let's talk about just, you know, all of our interstates and highways in general. How is ODOT handling the wildfires that are really just impacting so many areas of Oregon? Well, we're working very closely with law enforcement and first responders to make sure we're doing what we can to keep these roads clear. We've got so many people that are needing to evacuate right now. There's a lot of traffic control tools that we can employ. Uh, for example, close on ramps to make sure uh, for periods that, to make sure that the traffic can move smoothly through an area. But we're working with law enforcement right now to try to make sure that we can keep traffic moving as quickly as we can. This is a, a big effort and everybody's involved with this, of course, everybody in the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw those big backups from uh, some of the people being told to evacuate yesterday. And, you know, every time Carly does her traffic report, it seems like she's talking about more uh, major highways that have been shut down for portions. You know, what are some of the major areas that are currently closed? Well, I know that um, uh, Highway 13 is only working on northbound right now. But as it is here in the Portland area, we've got uh, most roads closing, but conditions, most roads open, but conditions are going to be changing. And we've got to watch that all very carefully. So over the course of the day, over the course of the next couple of days, people should go to tripcheck.com, check highway conditions. And it's a good idea to know what conditions are in your destination also if you're traveling. That way, it's not just about where you're from, but where you're going as well. So people have a lot of work to do to be aware out on the roads also. Yeah, and just, you know, I'm sure that there is some construction still going on. How are the crews handling this as far as the air quality? Has it been put on hold because of the air quality? Yeah, most of the projects have been put on hold right now, and that's, that's exactly one of the reasons why. We were concerned about, uh, on the uh, Interstate Bridge project, about smoke. We were very concerned about wind, which had started to die down recently. But all of those things are a hazard for our crews and for everybody working outside these days. Our safety people are working with them to make sure they've got the right gear. All right. Well, Don, we appreciate all that ODOT is doing right now to keep everyone safe. And you stay safe as well. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.